Well, from the Hunger Games to the Bachelorette, for a while in the Charlotte area, spotting TV and movie crews around town was a regular thing. Several factors, including COVID-19, have created setbacks for the television and film industry in North Carolina, but now it's picking up pace again. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson has the story, new at 530. It's the perfect set for a new movie, The Queen City taking center stage. We're definitely seeing an uptick and interest. Guy Gaster, North Carolina Film Office Director, says there are two big reasons production companies are coming to the Tar Heel State, particularly Charlotte. One, a grant program offering funding to production companies. Two, the landscape. It's able to offer a very big city, a metropolitan look, but then you're able to find smaller towns and rural countryside. I'm going to have the resources of the largest firm in Charlotte. Not only is the location stealing the show, it's also helping the economy. The six latest North Carolina film and entertainment grant recipients will spend more than $135 million in the state, providing over 7,000 jobs. Those numbers are going towards paying uh, in-state local crew. They're going to paying uh, vendors that the production are buying supplies from. In return, production companies are qualified to receive big bucks depending on the production. But not all films are eligible for the grant program and production companies don't get the money up front. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, starring Rachel McAdams and Kathy Bates, set to begin production in Charlotte this month. The movie is now casting for extras, showing upward momentum for the state and cinema industry. Our hope is that 2021 continues to be a strong year for us and that we have productions not just in Charlotte, but throughout North Carolina. Reporting in Charlotte for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.